Hey there guys, this is Kim George here with YourChicGeek.com and I wanna welcome you to a brand spanking new video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the questions that I get a lot. Um, I know that I had previously made a video to show you guys how to go about um, doing this, but today's video is really, I promise you, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Before we get into this video, I'd love for you to first like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, um, you know, to support the channel. Um, also, for those of you that are interested in checking out resources to help you grow your self-publishing businesses, specifically if you are a low content book publisher, there are some links below as well as some freebies. One is a list of over 200 types of low content book ideas worth publishing. You can check that out. Another is a free workshop and a masterclass, and then also a uh, free newsletter, a link to my free newsletter if you're ca in case you're interested in joining, all right? But today's video, I kind of want to make this uh, quick, as quick as I possibly can, and just uh, talk about one of the, and one of the things that you really want to have in your arsenal is a website. Now, I know that when people think of websites, they think about, oh my God, I really don't want to build anything like that from scratch, or it's too hard, and all the technology. Where I'm, well, I'm here to let you guys know that there is a much easier way to do this. And that way is going to be through the use of Canva. Now, um, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to build a website or create a website to sell your low content books, to you know show your brand off and all of that kinds of stuff using a template that I have available now over in my shop that is done with Canva. It's super easy. You can change and edit everything. And I just wanted to show you how quickly you can do this and have your website launched and ready to go and ready to publish in under an hour. So this is the website template right here that um, I'm going to demo for you guys and to show you guys, you know, what is potentially possible and what you can do with this template. So right here, what we have, um, what I have available for you guys is a text logo that you can edit. So whatever your brand name is, you can actually go in here, you can edit this, you can type your own brand name. So you can do something like my publishing. Actually, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup this first, and then I'm going to do my publishing company name or something, whatever that is, right? Uh, whatever you want to put there, if you have just your author name or a brand name, you can put that there, and then you can put the initials here. Another thing you can do really easily with this template is you can change your color. So if you don't want to use green, maybe you want to use a different color. If you don't want to use brown, you're at liberty to go here to change add your own colors, your own branding, the whole nine yards. I mean, it really does make life a whole lot easier. Um, you could do the same thing with the fonts or the letters here as well. So if you wanted to use, you know, some other kind of brand colors or whatever it is, you can do that. You can also come in here and you can change the fonts. I'm sorry, change the uh, letters. So maybe if it was SL or something like that, you can have that here. There you go. So it makes that easy. I mean, anything that you want to change, you can definitely do that. Um, this is the main menu right here. Um, if you want to change the colors in the main menu, again, you can do that as well. You know, so um, Canva just makes it easy to do that. So um, whenever you click on one of the elements in this template, for example, like the menu, and you want to change the color of the menu and etc., um, instead of having to go and click each and every one of this, once you highlight one item, and you change the color on that one item. Okay, so like for example, if I go here and I go to pink, then you're gonna see this button that's gonna come up that says change all from this color to this color. So for example, if I wanted to change this whole menu to pink, I could just click change all and it's gonna do that, all right? But I don't wanna do that, I wanna go back. I just wanted to show you guys so you could change all of this, all right? The background section is the same. If you wanna change the background section, you can change it to whatever color you want whatever branding you wanna use, all of this is changeable and in minutes. Um, one of the big things that um, you definitely want to do is you want to be able to use um, your website to highlight, and I thought about that when I put this together, you wanna use this to highlight either a new book release or one of your most 
popular books that you have um, as a low content publisher or even as an author. So what I decided to do here was to basically just give you guys an opportunity to put in some some copy, whatever you want to put for the new release, or you can put, you know, our latest release or however you want to, you know, phrase that. You can put the title of the book and then you can put a little blurb about the book here. Now, right down here, we have some buttons that you can go in where you can actually link to the specific book that you're wanting to sell or that's the latest release on Amazon. Or you can actually give your buyers or your visitors the opportunity to buy the actual downloadable PDF. So, for example, if you have a shop, you can connect your shop to this button or link your shop to this button so that people can go and buy the actual PDF. So that has made it easy. Now, when it comes to adding graphics in this section, I wanted to make sure that I had something that would be easy for you guys to use um, and just drag and drop to make, again, life easy. So for example, if this was one of the covers that I wanted to add here, all I, I, would, all I would need to do is first go to Canva and you wanna look for the upload button which is gonna be here. And then from there, you want to upload this image as either a JPEG or a PNG into Canva. And then what you can do, and all you would have to do is just drag this over folks, and that's it. And so then you can just double click and you can move this over and there you go. So that looks really, really neat. So we're gonna come on down. So in this next section of the website, we have the latest releases on Amazon. This just gives you an opportunity to showcase more of the books that you have available. Um, you can title this any way you want. Again, everything in here is editable. So if, for example, you can go here and to put in your book titles, you can change the, the font sizes, all of that. You can go under here to put a little blurb or an explanation about the book in these sections. Here is where you can add graphics of the specific book that you want to show off that is a latest release. Right here, you can add the call. This is where you add the call to actions. They're already there for you. But again, if you want to change your button colors and things like that, you can do that or whatever you want to do, you can, you're, you're at liberty to do that. And then here is the same thing. So if you want to drag, for example, this here, you can just drag that here, double click to move that over and so on and so forth, all right? And then here's the last one. Okay, so there we go. All right, so that's just showing you guys an example there of how that can be done. Last thing is you want to be able, you can add links to the books. So for example, if you were, um, you know, a you know, had a book over on Amazon that you wanted to um, link to, to get people to buy from your Amazon author page, which you should definitely have, because this is gonna work a little bit better if you have a central place where people can go to look at your books. So we'll go over to Amazon really quickly and I'm gonna take a look at Coco Wheel's books as an example. So I'm gonna click on this one for, for example. So Coco Wheel has this book, but Coco Wheel also has, or Wyo, whatever their name is, they also have a author page. But if I wanted to link to this book specifically, all I would need to do is just come over to this specific book, all right? And then I can just come here. I don't know why that's showing like that, that's weird. But I could just come here and then I can come up here, click copy, and then I can go back to my actual button right here. And then what you wanna do is you want to highlight this button, click on this, right click, and then click link. And then you could just paste the link to link to that specific book. The same for this, this section and this section as well. Now here is where you would actually view or click to add a link to the complete collection that you have available on Amazon, basically your author page all right so as the, in this example with coco wyo i'm going to click on their name which is going to take me to their author page in amazon and so what i would do is i would actually come up here to copy this link to their author page and then i'm going to come back over and then i can just come here and i can just actually i put that there as a as i was testing but i could just come here again click on this link or click on this button to right click click link and then i can do paste to link to my actual author page, all right? So that is available there, and I'm actually gonna remove this. But that is how you would do that. And you want to have this in here because you do wanna give people an opportunity to view all of the books in your collection. And then you can actually add that. You can do view all books and collection, whatever you wanna add as a call to action, all of this is editable. All right, so here's a section for about the author. This is where you can just add a little bit of blurb, uh, a little blurb about your name, or you can add a blurb about your, your, your business or whatever it is that you wanna add, you can add that there. I have some social media icons right here where you can link to your social media profiles. So it makes that easy. 
Um, this is the title of the free, a freebie. Now this is um, going to be important. Actually, what I'm going to do while I'm talking to you guys is I should be kind of filling this in. So I'm going to do this. All right. So we're going to do this really quickly. I'll do this one. And these are just, I'll just say that this is like for a line of composition notebooks that I'm selling. So there you go. All right. Okay. So about the author, um, this is where, again, you can add either an author graphic of yourself, or you can add something that ties in with the kind of brand that you have. So maybe if you have a coloring brand, you can just do a coloring image or something like that showing your target audience. So for example, if you have a coloring book brand for kids, you can add an image to reflect that. And what you would do and what I would recommend doing is in Canva, if you have the free or pro account, I would actually recommend using free images. So I'm going to go to elements. And then what I would do is I would go for something like a child coloring in book, for example. Then I would click on photos and then I'm going to toggle this and I'm going to go to free because I only want to look for free images. So for example, if I had a children's coloring book brand, I could use something like this. Okay, and I can just drag that there and that livens that up already. It really does make it look more realistic, right? So if I want to take this out, I can just click delete image and there you go. All right. And then, like I said, add the blurb here and that's pretty much it. And I was supposed to highlight this or <laughs> group this together and I forgot. All right, but there you go. Now, this is one of the most important sections, I think, of the uh, of the website. And this is giving you guys, or for anyone that's interested, the ability to build your email list. Um, one of the things that you definitely want to do if you're building a brand, which is something I talk about in From Publish to Profit, is give your folks an opportunity to opt in to your email list. And so that is what this entire section is about. So this is where you come to the section and it's gonna have free download. You can add the title of the freebie that you're giving away. You can add this little blurb here and kind of, you know, jazz this up and add your own content. And I forgot to group this. And then over here, you can actually add images of the free thing that you're giving away. So maybe if I had some worksheets that I wanted to give away as a freebie, well, I can just basically add the image here, right there. Of course, this is not the image, but this basically is showing people, you know, the free thing. And then of course I could just do, you know, a uh, free, worksheets, download, something like that, right? So this gives you an opportunity to grow your email list. So I could just put this over here, put that in white, of course, to make that pop on that background or another color. You guys get it. You guys get what I'm trying to say here, okay? But you basically can just drag and drop the free thing that or an image of the free thing that you want to give away over into this section, all right? Now, with this button right here, um, where it says, send me my free thing now, you basically want to link this to your email marketing system. So if you're using MailChimp or you have an email list set up with MailerLite or whatever it is, this is where you want to right click and you want to link to that actual service. So what I would recommend is setting up a landing page, which if you guys are not familiar with that, um, it's basically a dedicated page that is set up via your email marketing service where you're giving people the opportunity to opt in for the free thing that you want to give away to grow your list. Now, I know with MailerLite, they give you an opportunity to build free landing pages within the service. So you don't have to pay for anything extra. And so what you would do is you would build off your page, take the link from the page and add that link here to send people to the page that come to this section to build your email list so they can opt in. Right. So in this section, this is where you can add um, reviews from what people are saying about your products. This section is a little mini um, kind of front end to help people get to your shop. Now, for me, what I do and what I have been doing is I have an actual shop set up on PayHip. This is one of the easiest platforms for me to use, but you can use whatever shop you want to. So if you want to use like a, um, I don't know, a Gumroad or PayHip or some of the other kind of service, or maybe you have a uh, different shop set up for different things. Maybe you have a shop for printables set up in one place. Maybe you have a shop for apparel set up in another place, a shop for your trainings or things that you want to offer to potential customers. You can link to either one of those um, down here. So on this button, again, you're just going to right click, click link, and then you're going to put the link to you, your printables where you have that, where you're selling those. So for example, if you're selling printables on Etsy, you can link to your Etsy printables 
printable shop right here and you can put a picture of the printables that you're selling. If you have apparel on Etsy, you can link to the apparel section or an apparel site on, uh, not site, but apparel on Etsy. You can link that there and then you can link to some training here, but you can pretty much do what you want here. Okay. I just kind of left that open. And then we also have the contact or connect with us page. So this gives people an opportunity to give you a phone call. If you want to add that, if you don't, you can remove that email you get on social media to connect with you and then head over to your to the web your website is already here um so i should have put something else but you get the point so you can also remove anything that you don't want so for example if you don't want website here you could just delete that if you want it back you could just go to undo that's how canva is and then you have the copyright section at the bottom here now the one thing that I will say that I also do love with this kind of setup is that you have the ability to delete any sections that you don't want. So say, for example, you say, well, you know what? I really don't have a shop that I'm, you know, that I'm using right now to sell anything from. Then what you can do is just go here and you can just delete, you move this, but you can actually delete this section or delete this page. All right. If you want it back, go back and undo. And for example, if you say, okay, well, you know what? I kind of need just a bare bones kind of site. Some of the things I know I don't need. Um, actually, you know what? You can hide this page too. So for example, if you want to just hide this page and you don't want it to be seen on the actual website, you can click this button here to hide and unhide the page. So that way you don't have to delete it, but you can also delete it too. So if I wanted to hide this, I could just click on that to hide this section from the website. Now, once you're done with all of your changes, you like the site, you love your, your everything on here is, is just good. You've tested all your links to make sure everything is working right. And what you can do is for free, publish your website through Canva. So I'm gonna go ahead and click republish the website and we're gonna look at what it looks like after it's been published with the changes that we've made. Okay, so we're gonna click view website. And here is what the website looks like. All right. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's pretty simple, neat, clean to the point. You have a menu up here that's going to send you to all of the different sections. So for example, for books, it's going to send you there. For about, it's going to send you to the about section. For free stuff, it can go there. And so on and so forth. Contact down here, all of that. All right. Now, for example, um, for... At the bottom is what I meant to, to state. You also have another um, section right here where you can navigate the site again. And then you also have a link or a button here that's gonna send you back to the top of the page as well. This does also work well on mobile. It looks good on mobile. I've tested it, but you do want to check that. And then it also looks well, or works well on tablets as well. And the way that you can test this is actually, is go to preview. And once you do preview, you have the two options right here. You have the desktop version where you can take a look at everything to make sure it shows up well. And then you have the mobile version. So this is the mobile version. So again, this works really well on either desktop or mobile. And this is where you can preview it to make sure everything is in line. And right here, you can go back to the top. And that's pretty much it. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I found this to be a lot easier. I have been using Canva for just things like this where I really don't have to get you know, too technical and where it just really makes my life a whole lot easier um, on the front of when I'm trying to build our websites. And the beauty in this is that you can use this template multiple times. That pretty much wraps up this video, guys. And I wanted to show you how you can use this template to create a website in as little as an hour. So if you enjoyed this video, um, I'd love for you to like, share, subscribe, comment below, let me know your thoughts. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on another video, guys. All right, take care. Hope your Q4 is going well. Bye y'all.